Hello, I'm Jack. And I'm Eleanor. And welcome to episode two in the series of videos in which we try to find the best viewpoints on the Isle of Wight and the best trails to take to get to them. At the moment, we are walking up Steeple Down Road, which is at the top of Ventnor. From here, we are going to walk up Rue Down, a long Stenbury Trail uh, to Apple Durkham Down and the Worsley Monument. This picturesque walk is accessible via several paths. The one we are taking starts at the foot of Steep Hill Down Road, reachable via the number three bus, which stops very close to the start of the route. The area down the cliff from here is Steep Hill Cove, once the site of Ventnor West Railway Station and Steep Hill Castle, which unfortunately was demolished in the 1960s. The first point of interest on this walk is the remains of a World War II Y station. This brick structure once encircled a wooden tower standing tall on the side of the hill and overseeing the channel. It was used as a direction finder by the Royal Navy. This area in itself is a superb viewpoint, but we promptly moved on up the path to Week Down. At the top of Wheat Down at 211 metres above sea level, the first thing you may observe, apart from the golf course on the right, are these mounds on the edge of the hill. These are burrows dating back to the Neolithic and Bronze Age, of which there are over 250 sites on the island. Many have fallen victim to agriculture and erosion, but the ones situated here are some of the best preserved on the island and still noticeably conspicuous on the landscape. As we climb up over the Stembury Trail, the views reveal themselves to the east over Roxall and St Boniface and to the west over Whitwell and St Catherine's Down. Up here, it wasn't long before I inevitably revert to type. Now I know this is not a railway video, but if you permit me to digress a little bit, there used to be two disused railway lines that you can see either side of this down. Down here is Roxall. The ride to Ventnor line ran through the town itself. It then came through the valley here and tunnelled under St Boniface down into Ventnor. Likewise, on this side, the Merston to Ventnor West line used to come down here through Whitwell and once again would tunnel through the hill and go into St Lawrence and eventually vent the west over there. Walking further up Stembury Down, we tread the land which once was in the previous ownership of the Worsleys and their residence at Apple Durkham House. The place itself was a priory in the 12th century, then later in 1690, Sir Robert Worsley ordered the construction of a Baroque-style mansion, of which, thanks to a World War II mine, only the shell remains. Later on it was inherited by Sir Richard Worsley, and the building was vastly extended in the 1770s. Sir Richard's legacy lives on for various reasons. One was the construction of Cook's Castle, a folly built into the side of St Martin's Down opposite Apple Durkham, solely to enhance the view from the mansion windows. More famously though was the scandal involving his wife Seymour Fleming, who he married in 1776. After this Sir Richard soon became friends with the one George Bissett, a man who soon became overly friendly with the lady herself. In the 1780s, the scandal was brought to light and Sir Richard was publicly ridiculed. He tried to sue George for an extortionate amount of money. Unfortunately for Worsley though, evidence that he encouraged the sexual union of his best friend and his wife crippled his case. He did get compensation though, the measly sum of one shilling. On the other side of the down you can also spot Stembury Manor, a house with history dating back to 1086. The manor and the land surrounding it would later also become the property of the Worsleys in the 16th century. The 
just hopping over this fence here, we can see Apple Durkham down just in front of us. And what really jumps out at you is how perfectly placed it looks. It almost looks man-made, but it's not. Situated at the north point of Stembury Down, and I believe some of the greatest viewpoints on the island. At this point, there is a dip in the landscape, and the hill to the west opens out to some of the most astonishing views on the island. This area was said to be the favourite place of 4th Baronet Sir Robert Worsley, founder of the rebuilt Apple Durkham House, and in 1774 Sir Richard erected this monument in memory of his ancestor. It was damaged by lightning in 1831, but restored to its current proud state in 1983. To do my best Jules Holland impersonation. Down here we have Roxall, moving along, St Martin's Down over here. Over there in the distance we have Shanklin and Sandown, Culver. Moving across we have the Middle Downs, so New Church, Merston down there, and the Downs go to the Heron Hounds, the Heron Downs pub somewhere along there. And moving over once again, we'll go over here, God's Hill down here in the valley. Then moving along, we have Chillerton over here, the radio mast. You probably won't be able to see it because the sun is shining this way, but it's there. And then we have Tennyson Down over there in the distance. You just about see that. Moving over, we have St. Catherine's Down, the oratory up there, the pepper pot. And then just down here in the valley, we have Whitwell and then Knighton. Thank you very much. If you would like to do this walk, you can always go online and look up the Stenby Trail. Likewise, if you enjoyed this video, you can always support the channel via the Collection Pot link in the description below. This is where we leave you. We've had a wonderful time walking this trail and uh, we will definitely do it again. We highly recommend it for any wanderers. One thing that the views from up here definitely prove is that our beloved island is still very green indeed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Take care.